The Byzantines were the continuation of the Eastern Roman Empire, which emerged after the administrative division of the Roman Empire into Eastern and Western halves in the late 3rd and early 4th centuries CE. The Emperor Diocletian first divided the empire in 285 CE to make governance more efficient, and later Emperor Constantine the Great established Constantinople as the new imperial capital in 330 CE, transforming the small Greek city of Byzantium into the political and cultural center of the Eastern realm. Initially, the Byzantines saw themselves not as a separate civilization but as Romans. The empire's official name was never Byzantine. That term was created much later by Western historians, but rather the Roman Empire or Basilii A. Roman. Greek gradually replaced Latin as the main language of administration and culture by the 7th century, but the state's institutions, laws, and imperial ideology were direct continuations of ancient Rome. The Byzantines preserved Roman law, most famously through Justinian I's Codex Justinianus, which became the foundation of much of European legal tradition. They also maintained the Roman system of bureaucracy, taxation, and the professional army, adapting it to the new realities of medieval warfare and trade. A 2025 study named Carbon and Nitrogen Isotopic Ratios and Ancient DNA Evidence from Barson Hoyuk and Katakalisi Anaya focuses on DNA data from human remains from Western Turkey dating to the Byzantine period. For this video, I have used publicly accessible data to explore one such genome. The sample is a male, carrying the Middle Eastern T, Y lineage together with the European mitochondrial lineage U5A. For subsequent analysis, I used academic tools, such as AdMixTools 1 and 2, developed by Harvard, but also amateur tools such as G25, my trait predictor tool, my beta calc tool, and my mage plot tool. With G25, this Byzantine man clusters with Macedonian Greeks. Consult this 2D PCA built on the basis of G25 coordinates. On this PCA, we see a major climb from Balkans to the Eastern Mediterranean, with Bulgarians plotting on the Balkan extreme and Dodecanese Greeks plotting on the East Mediterranean extreme. As you can see, this Byzantine sample falls intermediate, in close proximity to Macedonian Greeks. We see another climb, from the Eastern Mediterranean to West Asian, with Trabzon Greeks representing the West Asian extreme. Consult this phylogenetic tree built on the basis of G25 coordinates. Here we see three major subclusters, two of which are more closely related to each other. The most distinct cluster is the Anatolian Greek cluster, which is filled in by Trabzon and Central Anatolian Greeks. This cluster is very divergent from the other two major subclusters, that are relatively close to each other. Take a look at this subcluster, which is made up of such populations as Cretans and Greeks from Izmir. This is the Eastern Mediterranean Cluster. There is also the Southern Balkan Cluster, which is rather closely related to the Eastern Mediterranean one. In the Southern Balkan Cluster, we find such ethnicities as Bulgarians, Albanians, Corinthian Greeks, and our Byzantine individual, Bar 021. Consult this Mesolithic Ancestry Breakdown computed with Admixtools 1. According to it, about 51% of his ancestry derives from the Anatolian farmers. This is typical for Southern Europe, but a bit low for Anatolia and Greece. His share of Caucasus hunter ancestry, at 18%, is very low. This score for Caucasus hunter ancestry is more typical of Iberians and Southern Italians, but is very low for the Balkans and especially low for Anatolia. Mind you, this sample comes from Barson, a town in West Anatolia. He scores 22% Eastern hunter-gatherer. This is very high for Southern Europe and suggests heavy Slavic ancestry. He also carries 9% Western hunter-gatherer ancestry, which is also extremely high for a Greek. Consult this Bronze Age population breakdown. I have ran this sample through my typical Slavic split model. According to this run, the overwhelming majority of his ancestry is Paleo-Balkan at 75%, with some strong Baltic admixture, at 21.5%. There is nothing that would suggest Germanic or Celtic ancestry, as his share of Anetis ancestry is quite low, at 3%. Based on this breakdown, we can estimate anywhere from 35 to 50% Slavic ancestry in this sample. Let's move on to his trait predictor results. He was predicted to have medium brown eyes, dark brown hair, olive skin tone, wavy hair, Greek nose shape, and thinner eyebrows. He was predicted to be a warrior, definitively lactose persistent, to have average odds of autism, lower empathy, homozygous athletic genotype in ACTN3, low odds of epithelial cancer, 
homozygous risk genotype for cannabis psychosis in AKT1, low odds of autoimmune disease, lower odds of obesity, homozygous hunter-gatherer genotype in CLTCL1, and decisively blood type O. He carried rare risk variants for blue-yellow colorblindness, Emery Dreyfus muscular dystrophy, familiar hypercholesterolemia, exfoliation glaucoma, reduced CYP2A6 metabolism, porphyria, IBS, and Fabry disease. With beta-calc, he scored particularly high for odds of bipolar disorder type 1, coronary artery disease, esophageal cancer, heart attack, Parkinson's disease, schizophrenia, skin cancer, stroke and type 2 diabetes. He scored particularly low for odds of alcoholism, Alzheimer's, anxiety disorder, asthma, hypertension, mental disorders, and prostate cancer. You can purchase his genome in 23andMe format from the link in description of this video.